it's your birthday. We're here to party and sing to you. It's from me. Hope you are well. No, the fun will play. No, the whole day through. Hey, Stan. Rob Domundo here from Toronto. Wishing you all the best on your 90th birthday. What a great milestone, Stan, Maven. You should be very proud. Congratulations. I just want to say from the bottom of my heart, uh, thank you for all you've done in furthering my hockey career. I'll show you just a few of the credentials of the games I've covered with your name on it, as well as some books that I've compiled over the years, including The Great Book of Hockey and Who's Who in Hockey that you co-wrote with Shirley. And of course, a great appreciation that I have for you. As part of my way of saying thanks, I join up with Debbie to compile a list of videos for many of your friends with similar birthday greetings. So I'll just say uh, happy birthday, congratulations, and I'll never forget that uh, one joke that you told when we covered the 2002 Hockey Hall of Fame uh, inductions together with the late great Clark Gillies and Bernie Federko going in. Uh, the punchline is, so Stevie Wonder says to all of his golf challengers, go ahead, pick any night. Enjoy this compilation, Stan, and all the best. Cheers. Happy birthday, Maven. Can't believe it's 90 years today. It's wonderful. It's just so unbelievable that you're here at 90, and here's to another 90. May your day be filled with as much hockey as you want, as much baseball as you want in about a week from now, as much travel. It just It's unbelievable all the things that you've done. And we hope to see you here stateside really soon. Happy birthday. Hi, Stan. When I first met you, I was two weeks away from graduation from Brooklyn College. I was sure that I was going to go into advertising, maybe go to Pratt, because I was also an art major. Actually, that was the day before I met you. From the day I met you, I felt like I could be a sports writer or write about anything that really mattered to me. I don't know if you remember this, but that first day you put me to work on the Comeback Yankees. I wrote a chapter that night. My mother called looking for me because it was 10 o'clock and I was on 110th Street and Broadway and she had no idea where I was. Everything I have today, my job in Pittsburgh, having met Phil and having my wonderful son and just having the confidence to be the person I wanted to be comes from that first day I met you when you just said, here you are. I like what you do. This is something that I think you can do. Go to work. And I can't tell you what that's meant to me, your friendship, uh, your mentorship, and sharing a love of sports. I hope you realize I'm wearing Islanders colors, not any Pittsburgh colors, to talk to you today. I wish you the happiest of birthdays. I'm so proud every time I hear um, of another accolade that you've received because you, in, you deserve every single one of them. Behind me is the first book that came out that I worked on. And the day I left, when I said goodbye on my way to Pittsburgh, you said that was the thing you were the proudest of that I did because I jumped right in and I helped finish it up on a subject I knew nothing about. <laughs> I didn't even know what right of way meant, I think then. But all I can say is, Stan, you've showed me the right of way and I'm wishing you the happiest of birthdays and yeah. Take it easy, man. You deserve it. Love you. Bye. Hi, Stan. Congrats on your 90th. But for a guy whose life is enmeshed in hockey, let's put this in real terms. That's about 30 hat tricks, would you say? And you've authored or co-authored over 100 books or so. So let's make that 125 goals and tack on 125 assists. And you've won all kinds of awards. You know, the most prized award I would give you is MVP for your kindness and generosity in sharing your knowledge and wisdom and helping people reach their dreams. So from Lisa, Rebecca, and I, happy 90th, happy 30 hat tricks, happy 125 or so goals and assists, and congrats because 
you are and always will be our MVP. Glenn Dreyfus here. Gosh, Stan, I remember when you were just Patrick Kane years old and then Alexander Mogilny years old. Now that you're Ryan O'Reilly years old, next year we'll celebrate your Butch Goring birthday and down the line your Doug Gilmore birthday and your Connor McDavid birthday. But we don't have to wait until your Wayne Gretzky birthday to say, you, sir, you are the great one. Or to borrow the musical parlance you love so much, you did it your way. That's why no one asked me to sing. Happy 90th birthday, Stan. It's been a real honor to get to meet you and work for you and learn from you. And I've just been so appreciative of, of everything that you've done for me and you know the people that you've put me in contact with. It's been a real pleasure and I'll always remember uh, meeting you at, at your home. That was a great day and uh, I love being able to you know talk hockey with you and, and learn all about the game from you. It was an amazing day and just happy birthday and here's to the next 90 years. Stan, I want to wish you a happy 90th birthday. I think it's unbelievable you've made 90 years. It's a long time to not know shit about hockey. But in all seriousness, Stan, I want to wish you all the best. I miss you being around here in the UBS Arena and the other arenas with me talking with me. The car rides home from hockey games were always a lot of fun. I wish you much love. Love you and to and your family. I wish you all the best on your 90th in Israel. Take care, Stan. Hi, Stan. Your snowbird and sunrise here. Happy 90th birthday to the Maven. The Maven is all knowing about hockey, about New York City subways, about Brooklyn, and about Borscht Belt humor. Ah, well, a three out of four is not bad. You're the best, my man, an ageless wonder. You got me started in this marvelous avocation over 40 years ago, and I'm still doing it, so I can't thank you enough. My best to you and to your family for many more happy and productive years. Stay with it, man. Hi, Stan. I'm at my favorite bagel spot in Manhattan. Wishing you a happy birthday. Another milestone birthday. Uh, they're coming too fast, but this is a great one. All the very best. See you very soon. Hello, Stan. Marcus Aurelius Alexis Bach here. Yes, that's the only nickname I ever got from you, but it stuck for five years, 1995 to 2000. So it's 37 years ago now that we've been together as friends and as colleagues and boy, loved every minute of it. And now you are 90 years young. My goodness, you are still rolling, my friend. And in Lester Patrick's words, I'm with you win or tie. Always will remember the good times we had covering those Devils teams. Always remember covering those black aces in the locker room. And of course, the coverage of the coaches between Jacques Lemaire and Larry Robinson and Robbie Fatorik. That trip to New Hampshire took about five years off my life, but I loved every second of it. Hi, Stan. This is Debbie Ellickson coming to you from the Palliser Hotel swimming pool. Just kidding. Hey, Stan. I am reporting to you here from inside the Boston Bruins locker room, as you know, is my favorite team, even though I'm holding a Paul Korea stick. Stan, I do not know if I would be here today, the person I am today, and have done half the things I've done if it was not for Sharon Everson Axelrod introducing me to you. It would not be possible for me to write my first book, which also launched my publishing career where I have helped other people publish their books. And I have personally published 17 of my own, which <laughs> is not even close to what you have accomplished, but it's something for this half Ukrainian girl from Edmonton. And also, I have three traditionally published books, which did make me a dime, but it's still an accomplishment. So you are the one who set 
everything in motion so that this could all happen. And I'm so grateful. The first book I worked on for you was The Great Gretzky. And actually it was my mother who was the catalyst to put all the wheels in motion. Wishing you the most happiest birthday ever. And I hope this compilation of clips makes you smile. And, you know, we'll see you on the other side.